Hello, friends, Sam Man, and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man X1. In the last episode, we took on <coughs> Storm Eagle and Flame Man with all in one episode. Great job. In this episode, we're going to take on Spark Mandel and hopefully Armored Armadillo. So let's go. First, we're going to take on Spark Mandel because we have his weakness, <coughs> which is Shotgun Ice, which is weird. Doesn't make much sense. Anyways, yeah, Spark Mandel. He's like the big oaf of the group. Like the muscle man. Um, Flame Man is like the fat guy. But you'll notice that if you guys look at this, it's part of the um, Storm Eagle plane. Remember that? Well, you should. It was only like one day ago. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> in this, um, like you might notice, there are some levels that change according to what um, Mavericks you beat. In this one, it's, um, Show Penguin affects Flame Mammoth, Storm Eagle affects Spark Mandrel, um, Launch Octopus affects um, Sting Chameleon, um, <clears throat> let's see, that's pretty much it. Nothing really happens when you beat uh, Armored Armadillo or uh, Boomer Quanger. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what happens, power goes out um, randomly, actually when you reach certain points, but I, who's talking, you know. Anyways, we have a mini boss coming up. It looks like a big squid, kinda. In this, in this one, if you haven't beat Storm Eagle, this boss is way more challenging. Because when he does that little electric attack he just did, it actually shoots electricity out. Basically, just equipped your um, Storm Tornado, you should be fine against this guy. He's really not that tough. Yeah. I think six tornadoes kills him. If not, seven. There we go. I'm not sure how many that was, but whoever wants to count for the that'd be great. Probably look at it later and put seven huh. or six or whatever how many number it was actually connected. Let's get our fire away because this seems like the most effective weapon because a lot of a lot of Maverick weapons you get in this game actually do do that like uh they um are rapid hitting for a lot of damage like that. See, so took care of that easily. Ooh, hard tank. Go up here. It's kind of a hard jump. You have to like jump backwards and all that, but you get you, you get the picture. Alright, kind of break the game with this fire wave, but I really don't care. Alright, let's see. We should be almost done with this level, if I remember correctly. Whoa. And if you really want to dodge those uh, little walker things, you can just walk on, you can just dash under them. Um, yeah, so, let's go in here, we should be at Spark Mandrel stage. Awesome. This boss is incredibly easy. If you if you time it right, you cannot take any damage. He won't move. He won't do anything. So let's just shoot him. Ah. So that, that's what shotgun ice does. See if you do it, if you time it right, he never moves. Ever. He will like, if he gets lucky, he'll shoot out those. But that's it. Blech. I win! Yay! Easiest boss ever. Ever. <clears throat> Basically, um, there's only a sub tank, which I'll get later because I can't get it now. I'll show it in the next uh, few parts, I guess. And there's the heart tank. Oops, crap, I didn't mean to skip it. Oh well, I'll show it to you guys in the uh, Armored Armadillo stage, which is where we're going next. It basically, okay, anyways, I'll show it in a second. Armored Armadillo, he looks kind of cool. Anyways, let's, um, let's see what, uh, show what Sparkman's weapon does. And if you notice, you can press L and R to change your weapons, which wasn't, which was like a mystery thing in, um, Mega Man games, because there was no L and R buttons. Anyways, you change to an or a yellowish orange color, and you just shoot out sparks. And when it hits the wall, it gets does that. Sp separates into two, which is pretty cool. Anyways, ooh, minecart. This episode or this uh, level is all about minecarts, because you're in a miner's area, you know. I don't know what an armadillo has it has to do with minecarting, but whatever. Erg bats, I hate bats and ostriches, which is what this level is filled with. Thingy, oh god, jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. Ha 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 ha, yay, now we have a E-Tank. Our third one? Yes, third one. 
basically you just fire at this guy. You, uh, to charge up your fire wand, fire wave, just keep shooting it. Oh, don't need it. This is what the fire wave charge up does. Just lets it go. Which is good. Alright. I'm gonna go up here before he destroys this little block here and get these two uh, container things. Which is good. Yeah. Yeah, this fire wave breaks the game like holy crap. I'm, I'll, I won't use it very much. <clears throat> These both are really good. They're best. They're definitely the best weapons in the whole game. Like definitely. All right. <clears throat> so basically, you just want to go on this minecart and jump. All right. Now make sure you have a charged up fire wave before you go down here, because, well, you'll see why in a second. Oh, big drop. Oh my god, another one. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Thank you. Not only does the fire wave follow him in the exact speed he does, but he also does more damage. And if you, if he destroys the, f this, he destroys like this part right here, so you really can't get, um, the heart tank, which is good, which is not good. So you want to kill him as fast as possible. This this car is always fun because it causes extreme lag in the game, no matter where, what what you're playing on. Oh my God, lag! That's not in the, that's not in the recording audio. That's just a game. Ooh, energy. This part right here is gonna become a lot more um, obvious in the future. So let's just uh, continue on. All right, at the boss. This boss is weak against um, Spark Mandrel's weapon, which is uh, the Spark Wave, I think it's called. I don't really remember. <clears throat> All right. So basically, this guy has two attacks of this attack, which is really annoying. And he also does a little. Uh, yeah, stop it. He also does that, which is easy to avoid. But just shock him. It takes away his whole shield. So now he doesn't have any armoring. So he can't, like, usually, um, he blocks later on, and when he does that, you can't attack him unless he has, you have his shield off, which is good. Alright, cool. See, I killed him with the rebounding, which is awesome. Alright, I'm gonna do a little side questing before the next area, because I don't have enough time to do a whole level. So, um, let's take a trip to, um, memory lane with chill penguins their uh, level and here we have we get rolling shield yay we're pink I think that makes the weirdest sound ever but it fits for some weird reason I don't know I never really got that anyways let's go to chill penguin stage again because remember we didn't get really anything except for the um, boots upgrade which in every every the, every um, level has a hard tank um, some only have hard tanks. Some have both E tank and sub tank. Or um, yeah, E tank. Um, um, upgrade capsule and sub tank. So some only have hearts. Let's see. Boomer Quangers only has the heart. Doesn't have any upgrades. Um, I think that's it actually, because I know Storm Eagle has both. Um upgrade for the helmet and the uh, sub tank so uh... <clears throat> hey look at it, we're back to where we're is this part one again? Or... nah alright ow dodging skills for the win if you're wondering where the hard tank is it's pretty obvious once you do it you can go down here, but it's more difficult. You just fight another one of these guys. But anyways, if you melt the igloo with fire, you get a heart tank. And you can go over here and get a weapon energy. Yep. Fortifier thing. Anyways, um, so yeah. I have three heart tanks. I'm going to exit the level. And go back to the um, boss selection screen to show you what we're going to be taking on next. But that's in the next part. But I'll show you what we're taking on next. Go to the specs. Launch octopus. Height seven foot, seven point eight feet. Weight three hundred forty eight pounds. Whoa. Attacks homing torpedo and E drain, which means energy drain. So yeah, looking forward to that in the next part, guys. So this is Fallen Fury signing out of Mega Man X One. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.